After hiking Step House, we decided to hike the main trail located on Weatherill Mesa, Long House Loop. And boy oh boy, does it live up to the long part of that name. Long House Loop is an easy trail that can vary in length depending on if you plan to see all the sites. The average mile for this loop is about 5 miles. This loop leads to various trailheads. Today, we'll be exploring Badger House Community, Kodiak House Overlook, and Long House Overlook. This trail is a mixture between gravel and pavement depending on how you do the loop. We decided to take as many shortcuts as possible to save on mileage. Badger House Community The Mesa Top Ruins are known collectively as the Badger House Community. Four distinct sites, all broadly similar in appearance. Low, excavated and partially restored dwellings protected by metal canopies. The four are linked by a 0.9 mile loop, the start of which is 0.5 miles from the parking area. The first northwestern site, the Basket Maker Pit House, is a small pit house dating from about 650 AD and is divided into two main sections. Similar to what we saw yesterday, right? Yep. That was my exact first thought. <laughs> the second to the south is the larger Pueblo village from around 750 AD, centered on a great kiva which has been incompletely excavated. Pretty cool, huh, buddy? Site 3, located east of the Pueblo village, is the actual Badger House, a similar though much later 13th century village with a sizable group of rooms including two kivas, one constructed to the foundations of a tower via a 41-foot tunnel. That is the coolest. That's another kiva, right? Right. And what were they used for? We read about it. What were they used for? Gathering places or for ceremonies, right? The fourth site, and which is to the northeast, is Twin Raven House, also quite large, consisting of various low-walled rooms and an unusually small kiva.
After exploring the Badger House community, we continued down the trail, which seemed very long at this point, to go to our next stop. You look like a man on a mission. The far eastern side of this trail is the only area where you'll briefly run into shade. The road crosses briefly through a patch of old growth woodland that hadn't been burned by any of the wildfires that have affected the other areas of this part of the park. Two miles, no. Four miles. No. Three and a half miles up the truck. And yeah. another mile from north. Four and a half miles. Wait, a mile in and out? And we can look at the map. I think it's a mile in and out, I think. I'm not all. There we go, first. <laughs> first. <laughs> Came out of plod gear to first. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody needs that on camera. Oh, we do. You're, you're, you look very funny from behind. I'm shifting gear. <laughs> plod to first. So what do you think of the longhouse loop so far? <laughs> no, I mean, no, 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 I mean, let me, let me, yeah. long. I think that's why they call it long house. Oh, very long <laughs> and tiring, hot. My feet are burning on pavement. Yeah. <laughs> if you brought a bicycle, it'd be great. You'd be done by now. Kodiak House. The southernmost site on Weather Rill Mesa, not often visited, is Kodiak House, seen from an overlook 0.9 miles beyond the Longhouse viewpoint, which is 1.9 miles from the parking area. The latter part of the hike is along the old tram road apart from being a very short path to the Mesa's edge. Like Longhouse, the ruins are in a south-facing alcove at the upper end of a short ravine, a tributary of Rock Canyon to the west. The site is also on two levels. The main section was a substantial tower to one side of an array of lesser rooms and kivas to the other. The settlement is named for a camera that was often left here by Gustav Nordenschuld when he was working away on other ruins in the vicinity. After seeing Kodiak House, we continued going back north towards the parking area to see our last stop, Long House Overlook. Long House is the second largest cliff dwelling in the park and can be entered on a two-hour ranger-led tour approaching via a 1.1 mile trail that descends on the cliffs to the west side. Or, if you don't have tickets, it can be viewed from an overlook just off the old tram route. The viewpoint lies at the end of a short, twisting path to the west that edges on the mesa from where the ruins can be viewed 650 feet to the north in an alcove and contains one main group with various kivas, rooms, and towers, some parts accessed via a modern pair of ladders, plus a smaller, less accessible group on a thin ledge above. Next time on Legendary Trails. We give you our recommendations on how to best explore Weather Rill Mesa, some of the history, and what are the must-sees in this least visited part of Mesa Verde National Park. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you're not caught up on all of our adventures, you should click on the suggested videos. We hope to see you out on the trail soon. Bye for now.